fallen into a refrigerator? There's ice everywhere. We are in Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth. Wah! Antarctica! Look! Oh! <laughs> they sway from side to side when walking. So cute! Let's check out this animal. A large stomach. A small head. Black flippers. Short feet. Penguin. A penguin lives in cold Antarctica. It has a large body and short feet and is a kind of birds that cannot fly. The little penguin is adorable. It looks different from mommy and daddy penguin because it hasn't molted its feathers. Molting the feathers? A little penguin has gray coat. When a little penguin grows up, it molts its feathers to replace with a new coat. The new coat protects the penguin from the cold. I see. It's just like wearing a thick coat to keep warm during cold season. That's right. Penguins will not feel cold if there is no snowstorm. Ah, ah, the snowstorm is coming. What should we do? Don't worry. Penguins have solutions. When a snowstorm is coming, penguins gather and huddle together to keep themselves warm and wait until the snowstorm is over. Great! The snowstorm is over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, the penguin fell in the water. Don't worry. Penguins are excellent swimmers. They look for food in the sea. Wow! Ah, penguins can swim. Let's check it out. Get penguins swimming and catch the krill ahead. You have caught the krill. You're great. Wow, there's so much krill! And let's catch the krill! Oh no! The seal is coming! Get penguins swimming away before the seal touches them! Keep going! Let's catch some more krill! About the penguin. Oh, penguins molt their feathers to replace with new coats when they grow up. They huddle together to get through snowstorms. Penguins jump into the cold sea to catch the krill. You're right. Which medal should the camel get? Medal for master of heat. Medal for overlord of the sky. Medal for master of cold. Medal for master of cold. Penguins have thick feathers so they can swim in the icy ocean. This medal for master of cold goes to the penguin. Next, let's take some practice. <laughs> the desert is so hot! How could animals survive here? Hold on, look! There are footprints of the animal. Wow! It is amazing! Doesn't it feel hot? Let's check out its name. Smart Tablet! Activate! A large body. Humps on the back. Long legs. A curved neck. Camel. A camel is a form of transportation in the desert and is called the ship of the desert. It can survive in the hot desert. All I see is sand. What should the camel do if the food is unavailable? Don't worry, a camel can go without eating for a month or without drinking for two weeks. That's fantastic! How does the camel do it? That's what makes the camel so special. Let's take a close look. What else is special about the camel? You're right! The camel can convert food into fat and store in the humps. The humps will burn like hills once the camel is full. Let's now check out the camel's stomach. A camel drinks lots of water at a time. In its stomach, there are many small bubbles in the shape of bottles that store water. This allows a camel to nourish itself with its fat and stored water when the food is unavailable. Got it! The camel stores water and energy in its high humps like the warehouse. You're right! A camel can go without food for a long period of time. And it also is very strong. A 
camel is the ship of the desert. It can carry heavy goods to far destinations in the desert. I know, I know! A camel is the ship of the desert. You're right. Let's check out how a camel carries goods. Yeah! Let's find the goods that Mr. Camel needs. Load the correct goods onto the camel's back. <laughs> birds with sharp eyesight and claws. It is the overlord of the sky. Overlord of the sky? That's right. The eagle is so mighty that it scares off smaller birds. How could the eagle be so mighty? Kids, what do you think is special about the eagle? An eagle has the sharpest eyesight in the world. The eyes of an eagle are like a pair of binoculars, allowing it to see far clearly. An eagle can even spot a little duck on land. An eagle can fly at extremely high speed and dive quickly to capture the prey. It's amazing! I don't want to be caught by the eagle. Oh, I have an idea. If we drive, the eagle won't be able to catch us. Not exactly, huh? This is the fastest runner in the world. This is a car on the highway. This is an eagle. An eagle can fly at the speed of 300 kilometers an hour. Much faster than that of a car. That's incredible! I want to fly like an eagle. Do you want to check out how an eagle learns to fly? Yeah! The eaglets are learning to fly! Though the eaglet is a little scared, it tries bravely. Don't bump into trees! Come on! The eaglet will be able to fly! Come on! The eaglet will be able to fly! The eagle will be able to fly! The eagle. 
An eagle has excellent eyesight. Its flying speed is super fast. The eagle lives on the cliff. You're right. Which medal should the camel get? Medal for master of heat. Medal for strong warrior. Medal for overlord of the sky. Medal for overlord of the sky. An eagle has excellent eyesight and flies fast. Smaller birds are all scared of it. This medal for overlord of the sky goes to the eagle. The grass has grown so tall. The grass hasn't grown tall. It's us. We've become smaller. Wow. Look, an army of ants. We've become smaller, so the tiny ants look huge. That's right. Let's learn about ants first. A large abdomen. A small thorax. Antenna on the head. Six legs on the body. Ant. An ant is a tiny insect. Its body is divided into three parts, with two antenna and six legs. Lots of ants gather to form such a long line. Ants are social animals. They communicate with each other through their antenna. When an ant finds food, it will summon its friends, so they can carry the food back to their nest. The tiny ants are carrying big stuff. Yes, ants are exceptionally strong. They can carry the food that is 50 times their body weights. Oh, isn't that amazing? Of course. Let's see how strong an ant can be. This is one ant. Here are four ants. Look, an ant can lift 50 ants. It indeed has great strength. Wow, ants are fantastic. Do you know where the ants are taking the food? Oh, back to the nest? Right. The ants have a huge nest underground, and they are carrying the food there. Let's check it out. Where should we put this food? That's right. Let's continue carrying the food. The nest has gotten bigger. There's more space for food. Keep going. Let's continue carrying the food. All the food is in the nest. Well done. Quacky, what have you learned about the ant? Oh, ants communicate with each other through their antenna. They are super, super strong. Ants carry food to their underground nests. You're right. Which medal should the camel get? Medal for strong warrior. Medal for master of heat. Medal for master of cold. Medal for strong warrior. Ants can carry the food that is 50 times their body weights. This medal for strong warrior goes to the ant. Good job. Let's get some practice. Mm -hmm.